belief and beta wave our way through it. <laughs> but we know that we are not so highly suggestible. So thank you so much for that description. I think it's really important for people to understand and yeah, hopefully and to get a meditation or mindfulness practice going. Right? Yeah. Also, that's why a lot of trauma, like big T trauma, can't be solved through therapy talking. A lot of that stuff is done through the body, right? Because kids are just experiencing their, the whole world is kind of through their body. So that's why if you want to, you know, shift these limiting beliefs and these old past hurts, use all modalities that aren't just the brain, but use our body, use our theta, our unconscious, our subconscious. It's a holistic way to come back to ourselves. Well, Dr. Jane, that leads us so nicely into the feelings model that you talk about in your book. Awesome. So there's the repress, there's the feel, or there's the feed. I'll have you describe that. Yes. So basically our feelings are here to be felt. Their whole job is to be felt. That's why they're here. Feel a feeling and let it go. What we learned, and I don't know who decided this was a good idea. It's a long time ago and everybody does it, right? But we learned that, oh, that's a bad feeling. I don't want to feel it. I'm going to repress it. Therefore, keeping it stuck. And feelings are not stuckings. They're feelings. They are here to be felt. The other thing we learn is to feed it. Like when we're angry and we don't really believe somewhere unconsciously that we deserve to be angry, we come up with all the reasons why we're angry. Yeah, well, he did that. And if he wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't be angry. Or or that person shouldn't be doing that. That's why I'm so... Like we're coming up with reasons versus just saying, I'm angry. I don't need a good enough reason. What just happened? I'm angry, period. When we just let our feelings be felt, like our body's system will be done with the process of reaction in two minutes. If we don't repress it, if we don't feed it, we have the reaction, the neural chemicals do their neural chemical thing. We're just feeling it's gone in two minutes. Now for the perfectionists out there, which I am one, For really difficult feelings, the fastest I've ever gotten is five minutes. So we just naturally, because we just do it inherently, repress, oh, I don't feel this icky, I don't want to feel it, or we try to validate that it's okay to feel these feelings that we were told it's not okay. Like pre-seven, don't be angry, stop being angry, stop crying. Uh, (laughs) Okay, right? So we learn that our feelings aren't okay, so we repress them or we feel them and we feed them. When we just feel them, they aren't stored in our body. If we don't feel them, they get stored in our body until we're safe enough to release them in the future. That's why, you know, the old thing where like you're having a really tough week, you're holding it together. And I just actually saw a cartoon where somebody's like, okay, I'm holding it together. It's a tough week, but I got this. And then she's trying to get the paper towel out of the paper towel dispenser. and It's not coming. And she dissolves into tears because we hold this tension of these unfelt feelings until we just can't hold them anymore and they bubble over, usually at a very small thing. So, okay, I'm going to kind of think about the repressing as sort of stuffing them and they get stuck. The feeding them is sort of going into that spiral. And yeah. then the feeling is sort of like the processing that we do through the body. Do you yes. have any recommendations for how we can process feelings through the body? I'm trained in brain spotting. I love somatic experiencing. I'm curious what kind of tools you recommend to your clients and to the listeners of this podcast on how they can just feel and process. Yeah. It's super simple. Basically, to just feel, you focus on the physical sensations of your body. And then if you notice any thoughts, those thoughts, 99.9 times out of 100 will be...